It's not your imagination No, you're not black American You wonder why they call you Jamaican When you above all the other nations It's not your imagination No, you're not a Haitian You wonder why they call you Puerto Rican When you above all the other nations It's not your imagination they just want to keep us down They don't want to see us with the crown Jew don't want it, then the gates They're of language They are black into the ground yeah. They keep us low-key Red daddy no see It's more to you than them dreads and them gold teeth I never cut my beard Forget a gold tea. God your spirit like a gold we gonna get straight into it uh like we spoke about uh, uh if you was watching us when we was going live and promoting the show earlier we gonna talk about this revolt summit uh that uh, our mm. fellow brothers and sisters set up on a panel and um discussed <sighs> politics right, Parlor right? Tricks, Republicans, Parlor Republicans, Democrats, Parlor yeah tricks. all that crap yeah it it, it was sad man it, you know what um uh uh Killer Mike's gonna say it now. Now we, if you got kids watching this, we do advise parental discretion. Right, discretion uh, there is no advice. filter on their mouth. Uh, so if you got <laughs> kids and you don't want them to hear these words, you might want to send them to bed about now. All right, time they gotta go to school tomorrow anyway. Yeah, anyway. Right. <laughs> go on now, get go on now, get. All right, hey, play that video for the people. Uh, we ain't got no sound. Run it back and give Run us some sound to it. Blow it up. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it's been a, um, a a real big push for politics because uh, Trump me. Oh, whoa, in Genesis whoa, whoa. chapter 41 and he tell. Oh, I can't. OK, get that together. Um, but um, it's been a real push for for black people to actually go out and vote and do all this and pick a correct candidate. You know why it's so heavy that people are doing this now? Because. Black people are realizing they are running out of options. There you go. Because yeah. check this out. They, they had Obama, right? Mm -hmm. They had Obama for eight years. And they realized that the hood never changed under Obama. Right. The right. same way it was under Bush, the same way it was under Trump, the same way, uh, 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 same way it looks right now. Uh, uh, I mean, the same way it was under Bush, the same way it looked under Obama, the same way it looks under Trump, right? It ain't changed. But what happened is black people had so much hope and faith in Obama that he was going to be the savior. He was Moses right. back on earth. Black Messiah. And he was going to lead us out of Egypt. <laughs> right. And it was change that we could believe in. But in eight years, you realize this dude ain't nothing but a, he's a puppet yeah, being pulled so by the strings of the white man. It ain't nothing he's doing for us. He was put hopes. in place because Esau don't want them going down as the, homosexual president mm -hmm. they want the right. black man to be the homosexual right. president right so he he they realized he couldn't help him and then came trump now they got the worst of the heathens right behind him like oh my god right no now filter we, we got problem. him behind him oh lord what are we gonna do so they lost hope in the black man got the worst of the worst white man now they like black people we have got to discuss our political right uh, future and future, right? And, right. And we something we got to change something because black man didn't work. This white man's the worst. We got to get him out. No matter who we pick, we got to get him out. So that's why you see all of these rappers and entertainers and stuff going on platforms like this, trying to speak to the young, the youth, right, right, and, and try to get them to go out and vote just to get Trump out. Uh, play that video. Stop it! Stop! Everybody, hush! Hush and listen, because I'm about to give you the secret to what the f*** y'all are witnessing. What you niggas, N-E-G-U-S of the royal kind, that niggas, N-I-double-G-S, what y'all are seeing right now are free people arguing over who got the best master. Uh. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. That cut a lot of people. So, yeah, yeah, they ain't like that. We're going to go back to silent. Let's register this <laughs> back down. We're going to lock this back down. So I'll tell you when America was great. Seven years right, after the ending it, of the it, Civil War. Pause it right exactly. there. 
I want to, I want to, because he he cut a lot of people. They was going back and forth. Right, right. Trump, the Democrats, right. Republicans, all of this, right. and he cut them when you arguing over what slave master, master. to serve. Mm-hmm. Now you know what I I didn't see people arguing over what slave master to serve. You know what I saw? Mm. I saw a bunch of Israelites doing everything they can not to turn back to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you saw. It wasn't yeah. slaves arguing over who's the best slave man. You saw Israelites that refused to turn back to God, trying to find every avenue they possibly can other than humble themselves and yep. say to right. God, right. we have sinned. Yeah. Right. Because you hear, you hear over and over, what can we do? Yep. What we do? But every time as the uh, uh, the show goes on, you see that they, they, there's a meeting point where they're saying, okay, let's figure it out. Let's come together, right? And you think, as, as a woke brother, you would think, okay, now these brothers starting to see something. Mm-hmm. They finally coming together. Let's turn, let's come together and turn back to God. But then you hear the same BS come up yep. again. They go back to bickering and biting one another again. Hey, go to, go to, um, go to Isaiah 30. Uh, this is, now look at this. Check this out. I, I want you to, um, I, look, Google listening to me. Okay, I want y'all to understand this. Listen to this. What, when in the history of America, Negro dumb, have you ever seen Moabites get on a panel and argue about what, what president to choose? Say it again, what you just said. Name it. Right, you Name say it. That have that word. When have you ever seen an Asian people get together and no. argue over Democratic or Republic? Right. Or Arab. Have you ever seen Bring Arabs? Out, okay. No. You ain't never seen that, right? You ain't never seen the East Indian do no. that, right? No. no. Hell, you ain't never even seen the Jewish people ever do that, right? right. You know why? Because they not the Israelites. Right. 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 None of them. They are, they are not God's people at all. That's why they never got on that stage and done nothing like it. Here's the proof. Read Isaiah 30. Let's read 1 through 3. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Bring it out. Woe to the rebellious children. God said what? Woe to the rebellious children. Destruction to the rebellious children. Now he's going to lay out how that they are rebellious to him. Go ahead. Say if the Lord. That take counsel. That do what? That take counsel. That have a summit. They call it the revolt summit and sit there. Who's the better president that we should choose? Should we go Republican right. or should we go Democrat? That is them sitting there having a live council mm. in front of everybody. Read on. That take counsel, but not of me. God would not mention not one time. I watched the, uh, right. uh, the yeah, whole yeah, thing, yeah, the hour-long summit, right. revolt, conference, committee they had. Not one time was no. God mentioned at oh, all in at that. All, Go all. ahead. And that cover with a covering. What's the covering that our people use? Politics. Right. That's the covering that they use. This is what's going to shield us from the oppressor. Get the right president. Let's get uh, uh, the right mayors, the right governors, the right councils in there. Let's vote them in there. This is our covering from the oppression that is coming down on us like a damn weight of lead. Go ahead. And take cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. But what? But not of my spirit. Read on. That they may add sin to sin. All it is is sin on top of sin. Every single year, you want every single four, every four years, you want to uh, vote a different president. That ain't nothing but sin on top of sin. Right, right. right. And that's all it is. So, that's, so you see people that it's refuse sad. to turn back to it's God. Read out. verse uh, two. Verse two. That walked to go down into Egypt. And what was our occupation when we was in Egypt? Mm. We were slaves. <laughs> You keep wanting to go back into being a servant. There you go. Over and over, and then you mask it. Look, this is how they mask it, because he's going to go on. We should get our own, burn right. down both their damn houses, and build our own. Well, Negro, you're still going to be a servant, because right. you, you're going to gonna 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 do right. it where? In the land of <laughs> Egypt. Right. 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 You're going to do it in the land of your captivity. Right. How about get your own damn land that the right. only person that can give it to you is Jesus it's the Christ. Right. Right. But you, the only way you're going to get that is if you do what? If you turn back. Back to God. That's the thing. They, they think if they speak the language of politics, that they'll have a relief. They'll yep. have a solution. Right. Yep. But remember, the scripture constantly tell you, you will always be oppressed. Yep. 
You will always be oppressed. So they think using the tools of their enemy is going to benefit them. Yep. But over and over, the Bible reminds us, no, you need to reject that. Come up out of it. Yep. Right. Be totally separate. There you go. Because he goes on there and say, before... Before we elect somebody as mayor into whatever state we're in, yeah. here's the agenda that we have. Yep. Are you going to do oh, thus, man. thus, 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 yep. and then we'll agree to put you in office. So think about this. God says gather yourselves together. Give me Isaiah chapter 29. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me finish that. Oh, let yeah. me finish that. Read, read two and three again. Go ahead. That walk to go down into Egypt uh -huh. and have not asked at my mouth. What law should we follow to get up out of this oppression? Mm. Go ahead. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Now he's called president. president. That's who you strengthen. Now he's called mayor. Now right. he's called elected official. Right. Now he's called governor. Go ahead. Yeah. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Read on. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh of the president be your shame. It ain't never going to work. Go ahead. Wait, wait. Even if What's Trump that? don't get in office next year, <laughs> guess what? You're going you gonna to get it with another president, and yeah. you're going to realize, like, damn, damn he ain't do doing nothing thing. for right. us He's again. That 10-point that ten right. agenda right. that we brought to him, he said he was going to do it, but he got in office, right. and what'd he right. do? He nothing. forgot about us. Right. Right. Goes, hey, you know right. crazy? The but, way they, they trust in the sh uh, uh, Pharaoh's shadow, Egypt's shadow, is you see constantly, even in the video, he said, go read uh, the, the amendments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go yeah. read the amendments. Study it for yourself. Yep. Like it was going to do something yep. for you. Right. Remember, he we went. under a nation that goes to other nations and cause turmoil, dethrones whoever's in charge yeah. over there, right. and set their uh, uh, purpose in that yep. land. Mm -hmm. Come on now. When the uh, amendments was written, you weren't even a thought. Right. You so, still, hey, and and one of the sisters mentioned it that still in the Constitution, yeah. you still consider three fifths of a man. man. In the Constitution, right. you're still considered less than a human right. being, right. and you right. trying to vote the right damn president. Right, you niggas is crazy. Hey, that's what I was gonna say. You know, we we putting a form together to, to deliver to an, an official for them to abide by. <laughs> They don't buy by the form they put together. Right. right. So how <laughs> you think they're going to buy by something that Negroes hey. put together? Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, Bring read verse out. three again. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Uh-huh. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt mm. your confusion. How come we can't never get up? How can we take two steps forward, ten steps backwards? Right. We went, look, we used to vote Republican because they talk about that. Right, right, you right, don't right. even know that your ancestors were first Republicans right, right, out right, of right, slavery. Right, 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 but right. the Democrats tricked you and now for the last 60 years you voted Democrat. Right. Negro, uh, you was a slave <laughs> under Republicans. <laughs> What the hell? Right, right. It don't matter who you choose. <laughs> right. Still gonna be a slave. You still gonna be a slave. Still but you still gonna be oppressed. Police brutality. Right. Uh, uh, less paying jobs. Uh, uh, racially profiled. You go still be that regardless, cause you know what? You don't trust in God. You trust in Egypt. Yeah. Right. Go ahead, Officer. Break in the out. words of Jay Z, still, still nigga, still nigga. Just think about this, right? Because they had a whole bunch of people over there. I see millionaires yeah. there. Yeah. Those millionaires been millionaires for a good year or two. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not, wow. Not one of them thought about, you know what? Let me start getting my own apartments. Put my own people in right. there. Mm -hmm. Right. Let me, let me start gathering things together. Letting you know that money, we've been millionaires for years. Yeah. Black people has had money for years. And we still ain't got no hospital. No right. Exactly. Hospital. No schools. Money is not going to change it. I'm going to tell you, there's something morally wrong with us. We will have all that money and still sleep with that neighbor's wife. Right. Yep. We will have yeah. all that money right. and still try to sleep with that sister. Right. Still yep. try to rob right. that brother. Right. Yep. Still try to kill that brother that right. looks just That's like me. Money hey, is not hey. going to change it. And, 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 and I pray, you know, and I pray these brothers uh, repent and change and all of that stuff, but it, it, before going to your point, officer, before you start talking about money and, yeah, money, and building right. infrastructure and killing both the slave masters and taking your own, your mind got to change. Bring it out. Right, go. Because uh, uh, the brother T.I., just a few years ago, he had all that money right. yep. and he was making deals, getting damn illegal AK 47s. Brought into Atlanta and damn near went back to prison right. for it. Right. So just because you got money don't mean it's going to change right, your right. condition as a people. The mind got to change, right. man. I remember, hey. I remember um, Bishop saying in the class, um, remember, 
you all these people trying to rally up, get guns. You know, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight against uh, oppression. We're gonna fight the white man. But remember, who makes the bullets? Right, right. the white man. Who has, right, right. So you're gonna buy, get up all these guns, but. Who owns the bullets? Right. Who right. manufactures? Right. Who has the factory? Right. That's the same thing. You're trying to get into politics. Uh, politics. politics. You're right. Uh, you said it right. That's all it is. False hope. It's false hope. Yeah. That's right. another illusion. That the, uh, that's another hook from Satan yep. that he laid there dormant for those uh, uh, intellectual Israelites. Yep. Hey. Hey. They refused to submit to there God. You go. right. Satan gave you politics. Hey. There you go. That's go, another snake Go to track. chapter 31. Go to chapter 31, read verse 1. Isaiah chapter mm. 31 and verse 1. Read it out. Woe, Read it up. To, woe to them that go down to Egypt. Go down to Egypt. Go ahead. For help. For what? For help. That's exactly what we're doing today. America is Egypt. Read on. And stay on horses uh -huh. and trust in chariots. Meaning the power of Egypt. Read on. Because they are many. Watch this. And in horsemen. Because they are very strong. Read. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. You don't look to the Lord. That's that's exactly what's going on right here. Yeah. Read on. Neither seek the Lord. Read verse 3. Verse 3. Watch what God said about these men. <laughs> now, the, now the Egyptians now the white men are men. God said they just men. They are nothing. Yep. Donald Trump is nothing. Right. Hillary Clinton is nothing. Da, da. Read. And not God. The most I was telling you, your presidents, your politics, right. politics, yeah. they are not God. So what's he letting you know? He's letting you know that the curses of Deuteronomy 28 ain't no president going to change Nobody going to change it. They ain't God enough Nobody to do can that, do nothing about it. You're going to be oppressed forever. Right. Keep right. reading. What? And, and, and their Come horses on. flesh and not spirit. Read on. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand. Watch this. Both he that helpeth shall fall. Both he that helpeth shall mm. fall. And he that is helping. And he that is hoping. Shall fall down. Watch this. And they all. They what? They all. The help and the helper. Read. Shall fail. God says you're going to fail. Together. You're going to fail. Ooh. Read it again. You're going to what? And they shall fail. Together, uh, when you put your trust in somebody that ain't God, that's not even godly, right. wow. the Lord say, "All oh, y'all gonna fall." Yeah. Wow. You can hang it up. Right. God <laughs> calls him your up. enemy. That's, that's right. right. You gonna go seek help from your enemy. And the crazy thing is, he talk about burn down both the slave uh, master's house. Right. Then afterwards, you hear him bring up uh, the Waffle House. Right. They had a, oh, a yeah. situation that happened at the Waffle House yeah. where a sister got dish ragged. Right. Yeah. And then he was like, "No, we should just." Boycott this one uh, Waffle House. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What? Will you just say in the same breath we should get rid of both of the master's houses? Yeah, right. yeah. But now you still nah. fighting to keep one? He's yeah. still and like I know Atlanta bacon has a lot, right. a lot of, a lot of good cooks. Like Waffle House yeah. bacon. Israel got a lot of talent. Right. You telling me they can't build their own Waffle House? Right. Uh, right. Bring it out. Why wasn't that part hey, of the conversation? Hey, hey, they can build it, but it's going to last two years because Shh, Negroes going to go right to IHOP. Right. <laughs> Negroes going to go right to Diddy's. That's, that's right. Right, right to Cracker Barrels. Right, right. Because black people own it. That's yeah. why. That's what Cap right. was saying. We have to change the way that we think. That's right. Because watch this. Go to Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 5. Right. Start from verse 4. Isaiah, we really have to change the way that we think in order for things to work. Just like what we brought out last week in FCN. That brother stood up for that sister, and you had black people right back in that store oh, man. getting their nails done right in front of the Moab right. that just choked out one of your own. Mm. Yep. Watch this. Read that. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou shalt be brought down. Isaiah, cha uh, Sorry, Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 4. Oh, sorry about go. that. All Jeremiah praises. chapter 29. Oh, praises. <laughs> Uh, Jer uh, Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 4. That's it. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Read. the God of Israel, uh -huh. unto all that are carried away captives. We were carried away captives over here. Yeah. Watch this. Read. Whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Babylon the Great. This is America. Watch this. Read. Build ye houses. It says first, build ye houses. Watch this. It's not saying build houses with your oppression. Build ye houses, read, and dwell in them. So we're supposed to be making houses for one another. But again, if we're not morally right, if we're not right in the head with the words of God, how would we be able to establish these houses and right. make sure that our people ain't selling drugs all around the neighborhood? Right. Watch, read, right. and plant gardens. 
And it says plant ye gardens. So f when you plant gardens, what you're doing, you're providing, you're providing produce. Right. You're providing food for one another. You're not only that, but when you build houses, you provide shelter for one another. So you're taking care of each other, Reed. And eat the fruit of them. Uh -huh. Take ye wives uh -huh. and begat sons and daughters. You see that? Now watch this, Reed. And take wives for your sons uh -huh. and give your daughters to husbands. It's telling you how to build back the black nation. Yep. It's telling you how to do it. It's telling you the women you have to submit to your husband. Right. It's letting you know that. Watch, read. That they may bear sons and daughters. Uh -huh. That ye may be increased there and not diminished. Because the kids see, okay, look. Look at what the men are doing. This is what we, this is our example. This is what we're going to have to build bigger and better things of what our predecessors left behind. Now watch this. This is for you brothers that's talking about burn down the slave master's house. Yeah. Watch this, read. And seek the peace of of the city whether I have caused you to be carried away captives. Do what? Seek the peace of the city whether I have caused you to be carried away captives. No, burn everything down. Seek the peace of the city whether I have caused you to be carried away captives. Just like what off, oh, Captain Severus said. Brothers talk about, man, they, they did this at Waffle House. Okay. Instead of burning it down, don't buy nothing from them anymore. Yep, yep, Create your it. own Waffle House. Yep. Bring it Think out. about it. If every black, Hispanic, and Native American would say in America, right now we would no longer buy from Walmart. We will only purchase from Publix. Oh, it'll go you, out of business. You see what would happen? Out of business. But that about. takes for us to gather together. That's right. right. Hey, right. That, that takes work, and we lazy, bro. Right. Yeah, Omar is only 10 minutes away. <laughs> Public is an hour Man, away. Right. Damn it, I'm going to Walmart. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now guess what? We you lazy, had, bro. In that forum, you had a bunch of billionaires, uh, millionaires sitting right there, front row. Yeah. All right. On the stage. did it. Damn near billionaires. There, there you go. Yeah. So you telling me they didn't have enough power or um, a spending power to do that? Buy up a supermarket. Right. Yeah. Not even a supermarket. They do. And the thing is, Come they on. can't pull their money together because everybody going to see all this there money you you and how it. we going to spend this and how they going to fight over that. Right, mm. right. So the mind ain't right. The mind ain't right. Go back to the video. Let's play some more on that. Oh, Candace, because you, you didn't give the comment, so you weren't prepared for that one. <laughs> Seven, no, but that's... That's not to jump on Candace because, again, I'm disagreeing with my friend. Seven years after the end of the Civil War, blacks within seven to 15 years accumulated over 15 million acres of land. Since, hold on, before we get to clapping because the niggas bought <laughs> Black people were the only skilled labor in there. So if it was welding to be done, iron bending, cotton picking, it was black people. So instantly, your value became more. And Candace has a point. The point that she made about illegal immigration affecting you is it is going to affect you at some point. Why? If the Kegel Chicken Factory is hiring illegally illegal immigrants at an undercut on the rate, it affects the black people who live there who should be demanding 20 bucks an hour because they're being undercut. So when they get wiped out, they have to hire blacks, pay them, and unionize. So she's right on that. But hold the f on, I'm not finished. <laughs> You have to remember that people who look like you immigrate too. So before you widely say oh, yeah. them all, remember America is always going to have a slave class. And if illegal immigrants or legal immigrants will not be the lowest paid workers, those in prison will be, and that always ends up looking like one of their sons. So it circles back around. So that's why people who are black, who are from two different plantations, got to get the away from Massa long enough to say how are we going to burn down both their f***ing houses now this is my thought this is my thought hey, hey, I don't hey. care if you destroy the republic let it let it talk. Go ahead. Let it, let it Republican go. or Democratic Party, because at one time blacks were Republicans, See? and you dominated those seven years after civil after civil um, after the Civil War. You were Republicans. You had more blacks in the House and Senate than you do now, and you dominated your own economic and communities. You did that as Republicans. As Democrats, you did the same in cities like Atlanta. You failed in other cities. But the most important thing is self-organizing. By the time we get to a candidate, we should have a list that Here says white man. Here we go. White woman. Here we go. These are our demands. Here you can go. meet them and get our vote. Pause it. Or not. Pause it. 
See, Ooh. see, look at this. I'm gonna yeah. tell you right now. It takes a spiritual man with spiritual eyes to understand the uh, hypocritical statement he just made. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. didn't he just say he right. talking about to uh, get rid of, to hell of burn down right. this house right. uh, to hell with you? You argued over which slave master's better. And but they, then he goes back and says, "Here's a ten point <laughs> program, white man, right. that right. we want you to do. We which one it. is it? For real? Are you on your own and you independent, right. or are right. you still?" <laughs> Dependent on the white man to be your savior. Yeah, right. You Which one is it? Make up your mind. That went over a lot of people's head. They didn't catch that. Right. You see, that's that because false uh sense of independence that uh uh people who don't know God will give you and make you think that you are independent doing your own thing because you told the white man which direction to go and he's going there because you told no the white man is not gonna make a decision that will not benefit him in the end. Yeah. Right. Right. There right. you go. So you can give a 10-point uh, uh, program, whatever the hell you want to give right. to the white man, and he, well, you know what he going to do? He going to flip it and find a way to make 10 times more money off there you go. than you would, you thought right. you was going to make off of him. And you right. know why he said that? Because the scriptures can't be broken. Deuteronomy 28 and yep. verse 48. Yeah. 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 Go, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. Okay. I'm going to show you this. Deuteronomy 28, 29, where he's talking about uh, uh, burn this down, do this, get your own, this. You was independent, financially stable. Re and look what happened. Look what happened. You had all that stuff seven years after the Civil War, right? Read Deuteronomy 28, 29. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 29. Bring it out. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. Always searching for the truth. Go ahead. And thou shalt not. Prosper in thy ways. God said what? And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. So yeah, you were successful seven years after Civil War. You did have uh, Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You did have thriving communities in North Carolina. Yeah, you had all of that stuff. But guess what? You will not escape the curses of God because That's you right. are the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. No matter how much money you accumulate in whatever time period it is, you will always fall up under that curse and God is going to keep you oppressed because of what? You continue to add sin there upon you sin. You God. refuse to humble yourself and turn to God and keep his laws. Yep. You continue to trust in your oppressor and trust in his ways and want to assimilate to him. So you know what? Every so often, God got to let you get get up, Send get some reminder. money, and you know what? He, he activate the angels. Hey, um, go and drop Deuteronomy 28, 29 mm. on them. Right. Boom, and you come right back down. <laughs> <laughs> Until they repent. Over and, and over and go ahead, officer. And he did say that we'll go up and then we'll get knocked back down. Right. Go up, go get knocked back down. It's not a fight against us and the oppressor. Right. It's a fight between us and God. Yes. Right. God says, keep my commandments. You don't want to keep it. He's going to beat you down to the ground. Yep. Right. That's the only way you're going to listen. And, and through check affliction. this. Check this. That's a fight that we will never win. Never. Right. You will never win fighting against God. Keep trying to change his mind on how you are going to change your circumstances in the land of your captivity. Right. That's the craziest thing about it, that we are in the land of our slavery, bought here as slaves, and we are trying to live like we are free Negroes trying to lean on the Constitution and the amendments. Negro, it was never made for you. The damn Star Spangled Banner is talking about killing slaves. Right. What makes you think you're going to change stuff that they have written in their law that they said they will never change? The Constitution won't change. You can only make amendments to it, change it a little bit. But the foundation of it will never, never. ever right. change at hey, all. Hey, let me get uh, 2 Peter 3. Hold Bring on, hold on. Before we leave Maybe. that, jump to verse 20 real quick before we leave this chapter. Verse, verse 20. 20. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, uh -huh. vexation, mm -hmm. and rebuke. In all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do. That's exactly what's going on. You could take your little nice little uh, uh, big font paper to the white man. What's right. going to happen? He said he will do what? And the Lord shall send upon thee cursing. Cursing, come on. Vexation uh -huh. and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do. Read. Until thou be destroyed. Read. And until thou perish quickly. Why? Because. 
because of the wickedness uh, of thy doings. Uh, in the video, damn, he also damn. said, listen, I want you to go read this the book, that, that book, this Boy. book. And he said he did it even smoking weed. Yeah, he did yeah. say that, didn't he? He, did he said, that. I got high last night, read the amendments. Read the amendments. Read on. Whereby hmm. thou hast forsaken me. Why? Whereby thou hast forsaken now, me. Listen, I'm, I'm going to say this right statement. There. Listen. Damn. They go. On, they want these rights, that right, this for their community. But remember, every ruling kingdom, the only thing that establishes a ruling kingdom is laws. Yep. Right. You can't move Bring forward out. without laws. Yeah. They're going about trying to establish a kingdom, right? They're trying to establish a nation or sovereignty, but they can't do it without laws. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're they right. are void of laws. Yep. Any type of understanding. See, this is what what Black America has come. Who in their mind they think is going to. Um, lead the future generations right. into a better direction. They think money is going to solve go. all right. their problems. That's exactly what it is. Too. That's where they at. Go ahead, Kathy. No, 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 go, go okay, <laughs> see, they think they think money is going to save all, uh, uh, change their condition and save them out of the oppression that they in. But money ain't never been no. the answer to our problems. We don't have a money problem. We got a spiritual, spiritual problem That's right. Right. as a nation. You pointed it out. He read the amendment smoking weed. God says be sober, right? right. Uh, um, we got problems where you got women want to uh, uh, lead the man. God says a woman be subject to your there husband. You go. right, right. Uh, God says to keep my commandments and live. We say no. Um, YOLO. Uh, YOLO. <laughs> we say things like uh, the reason why we dying is police brutality. No, it's because you don't keep the commandments. Right. It's a spiritual problem that we yeah. got as a nation, yes. not a financial problem. That's right. That ain't it at all. Um, so so um, go back to the video, and then we're going to go to the next one. Because we're going to dig into the next one. Go ahead. We're going to stay home and crochet and make collard greens. But what you cannot do <laughs> is continue to argue over who is the best master. I don't give a f if it's Trump, Obama, your mama, my mama. What the f do you have for me and my community? Now, pause it. If pause you do pause not. It. Now, that was, now, look at that. You heard all of that stuff. Now just jump over Deuteronomy 28, 48. Because right. this is all he said out of his mouth. What do you, white man, have for me? Bring it out. What can you give me? Because I can't produce it on my own, right. so I need you to give it to me. Right. That's a slave. Right. <laughs> that is a slave. Read verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. You are going to take a 10-point program to him and say, what go. can you do for me, Massa? Mm. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent him against you because of your wickedness. God sent that white Bring man to the west coast of Africa. God sent that white man to the Americas by the name of Christopher Columbus and all the conquistadors after him because you continue to trust in oppression. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And hunger and in thirst. And food and water. If you want uh, good food in your... Look, we've been talking about this. If you want good food in your black communities instead of fast food uh, restaurants, right. you want a whole foods in your right. neighborhood. Right. You don't want to get gentrified and stuff, right? right. right. God right. said you got to serve your enemy right. for it. <laughs> right. Bring it out. If you want clean water in your neighborhood, like in Flint, Michigan, guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to elect a local governor or an official or, or a city council to Bring change the water pipes in that city because you can't do it yourself. Bring it Go out. ahead. And in nakedness. If you want good clothing, if you want different kind of clothes, you want 100%, you want the finer things in life, well, you better hope that uh, uh, Burberry does it. Burberry. Even though <laughs> even though they put uh, blackface on some Gucci and disrespect you, guess what? If you want to wear their clothes, you still going to have right. to do what they say. Go. Go ahead. And in want of all things. If you want anything and you want good equal education, because this is some, some talking points in politics. I'll be right. watching Roland Martin unfiltered, <laughs> right? right? I'll be watching right. some talking points. If you want uh, uh, better education, better health care, uh, equal pay, uh, better housing, um, if you want uh, job promotions, right. if you want just a little bit of uh, freedom uh, from your oppression, if you want po police brutality, mm -hmm. if you want all of those higher learning, higher minimum wage, higher minimum wage. If you want all of those things, God said, 
you're going to have to take a 10-point plan mm. to your master because you refuse to serve me, so I'll make you serve your master. That's where you at right now. That What's that proving? You're we saying. are the Israelites. That's right. No doubt about it. Now that we see the tremendous Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.